Oh, hey, look what I got here. It's the new Fuji XS10 camera, and we're about to see what this baby can do in the real world, and maybe, just maybe, I'll throw in some photography tips as well. The Fuji XS10 has the same 26 megapixel sensor that's in the X-T4. That means that the image output is going to be top notch, especially paired up with the 16 1.4. The autofocus was very fast and responsive. I used eye detection in continuous mode here, and it did a great job tracking Elizabeth as she moved around. To get my money shot, I asked Elizabeth to take a step forward and then to look over her shoulder to the camera. And this is what I captured using the classic Chrome film simulation. Here at home, I have the X-Pro3 and the X-100V. And what surprised me the most about this camera is how small and thin the body was, but how deep and large the grip was. It felt so good to use. It also has the same flippy screen as the X-T4, which I know hybrid shooters are going to really appreciate, but the purest photographers out there may not like. I'm still able to use this screen to help me with my low angle portrait shots, and I really love that. This is a $1,000 camera, so you don't get the 4K60 video that is in the X-T4, but what you do get, DCI 4K30, 1080p up to 240 frames per second, and get this, this little camera has 5-axis image stabilization built in, which is, com is shocking to me considering the price tag and how small this, this camera body is. With the X-S10, you get up to 20 frames per second uncropped continuous shooting, and also you get all your favorite film simulations. My favorite is the classic negative. I love the tones and I love how contrasty it is. And that's what I was using here. So now a couple things that I'm not a huge fan of. It still has the same small battery of the X100V, but I was able to shoot almost 400 images and still have half the battery left in about an hour and a half photo shoot, which is not bad. It has a single card slot and the dials were removed. A lot of you may not like that, but I'm telling you, the camera feels so good in the hand. Everything is just placed right. The ergonomics are really nice on this camera. You have to try it for yourself. The XS10 was performing beautifully in autofocus with the 16 1.4, with the 35 1.4, but with the 56 1.2, things started to slow down a little bit. But the images, oh my God, they're beautiful coming out of this setup you know i keep it a buck on this channel and say the things i don't like about a camera regardless of the brand but for a thousand dollars it's hard to find something i don't like other than the battery life the camera is extremely easy to use fits the hand like a glove and has very little compromises in performance and features compared to its bigger brother Most photographers would have walked right by this spot and said, hey, the lighting is too harsh here, but you have to adjust the posing to the light. Have her close her eyes, put her chin up, dramatic pose. We got some symmetry. We got a lot of contrast. You have an opportunity to create powerful images out there, but you're running away from bad lighting. Make that bad lighting good lighting with your posing. Okay, so here's the deal. My daughter is in the other room. She's doing e-learning right now. She's on break. You already know what that's like. So we're gonna be quick. We're gonna be fast here, okay? I got a couple other things to talk about with this camera, like this little pop-up flash that we have here. But first, this video is brought to you by the Paybu card, exclusively at BNH Photo. Paybu is the payment card that instantly credits you back the sales tax on your order. So you're gonna be able to save money. As you know, BNH is one of the largest in the world in terms of like the range of photography products that they sell. They have great customer service and fast and free shipping. So make sure to check them out. Actually, one thing you may not know about me when all the cameras are off and I'm not filming YouTube videos because I mainly shoot Sony and Canon on this channel. I'm using the X100V. This is my dedicated family camera that I take pictures of my daughter, take a little couple of videos. This is the main camera. So I'm familiar with Fuji cameras, but I'm not an expert. So take Take my advice with knowing with doing that, okay? I didn't expect much taking this camera out of the box. It looked like a toy. You know, basic functions, it's only $1,000, right? This has a really small profile and it has five axis image stabilization. That's a great start. Paired up with the flippy screen, that says to me, hey, you know, this is geared toward, you know, the 2020 vlogger, right? Or the person that wants to be able to do a little bit of video as well as photo. This is kind of catering to that, I think. 
not everyone's gonna like that. You also have the X-T4 sensor, which to me is, you know, you're gonna get amazing image quality out of this little camera. You are missing the dials. Now, some may not like that as well, but I found that this camera ergonomically is just perfect. It's the ISO, the Q buttons right up top, the camera fits like a glove. I can't overstate that enough. It's It feels so good in the hand. And it's just very simple. It's got a little joystick here, changing the focus points around when I need to. Very basic, very straight to the point. And using it, actually using it, it was a joy to use. It was fun to use. It was very simple to use. And it just made me focus on photography. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Paired up with the 3514, very small setup. I was even holding the camera like this just to prove a point that this is a small and lightweight setup, very compact. And I think that this is going to be, make a great second camera for Fuji owners out there or anyone else that's looking into Fuji. This is a great starter camera. I think e-learning started back up. Adriana, what happened? She has to go back to class. She has to go back to class? Oh. Stayed by my wife. She's taking care of it. Um, you have a USB-C port, micro HDMI, and you actually have a mic jack up here as well. Very nice. If you're wondering why I'm wearing a robe, my wife actually got me this robe. She got it from the women's apartment at Target, but who cares, right? Who cares, right? It, look, it looks comfy. I usually wake up with a cup of coffee right next to my bed. Ooh, yes, sir.